This is the high school student athlete profile, thanks to Kelly Burt Dozer. And today we're visiting with Rudder High softball player Carly Holacamp. Carly, thanks for hanging out with us today. What year are you at Rudder? Uh, 2016. 2016, so senior year. Can you believe it's almost over? No, it's it's really hard to believe actually. Yeah, yeah. How many years have you been on the varsity softball team? Uh, well, my freshman year I was half JV at first and then she, um, she moved me up to varsity and I've been varsity ever since. Okay, okay, so basically all four years yeah. that you've been here. Um, Carly, what number do you wear? Nine. Is there a story behind that number? Has it been a favorite for a long time or is it just something you got in high school? Well, it's always been my number and um, no matter what, I was 19 freshman year and I just always had to have a nine in there because it's my lucky number, so I stuck with it. Okay, cool. Carly, do you have any siblings? I have three, actually. Okay. I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. But okay. they don't live with me. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Do you still kind of consider yourself a role model? Do you see them ever? Oh, yeah. I see yeah. them a lot. Yeah. A little too much sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that they look up to you as the older sister? Definitely. I show some, I guess, what do you call it? <laughs> Leadership. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what about you? Who's your biggest influence? Who's somebody that you really look up to? Oh, my mom, definitely. Okay. She's a single mom, and she's been busting her butt for years and tries to give me the best. And she doesn't think she does, but I appreciate every yeah. bit of it. She's my best friend. Very cool. Very cool. Carly, looking back, when did you start playing softball? How old were you? Oh, man. <laughs> T-ball. T-ball. So, but like, four or five, I probably. guess, really softball, eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and you know, what's one of those first memories you have? Maybe especially like going into the actual game of softball. Um, you know, was there a funny story or maybe a really great moment when you were really young that you remember? I just remember being the only one that wanted to pitch. Okay. And so I guess, you know, I've never had lessons and I just went into it really just to help my team out, but it turned out great for me and I stuck with it. Why is softball your favorite? What is it about this game that makes you love it so much? You gotta know the game, you gotta think fast, and the cheering, the cheering is the best. It's so much fun to like talk mess, but you know, at the end of the day, you're all friends, yeah. and so it's yeah. fun. Carly, you mentioned pitching. Is that the primary position that you play? Yes. Okay, and what's your favorite part about being a pitcher? The pressure. The pressure? I absolutely love it, because I like when people think they're getting in your head, okay. but really they're not. You know, they're like, blah, 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 and you're like, strike. <laughs> <laughs> What's probably the toughest part? What is something that, not so much you struggle with, but something that is really hard about that position? Once again, the pressure. Mm -hmm. Because it can get to you once, you know, if you if you could be on your game, but if your teammates behind you are not, it's very, it gives you a lot of pressure because you have to strike them out or get them to do something in order for them to be able to perform. And it just, the, the pressure really is. So you've never had professional lessons? Maybe once, okay. but it was 30 minute lesson. Yeah, yeah. And so you pretty much everything is self taught or taught by coaches that you've had just at the, you know, younger level, I guess. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's, you know, that's crazy because usually, you know, people, pitchers especially, um, have to take lessons to, to get better and everything. But why, because you don't take lessons, do you feel like you have to work that much harder on your own? Definitely. Um, a lot of girls have much more spin than me and uh, especially more heat but you know you can work you only get to work with what you have. This is the high school student athlete profile thanks to Kelly Burt Dozer. We're visiting with Rudder High's Carly Holacamp from the Lady Ranger softball team. You know Carly you mentioned having to work a lot on your own you don't take lessons so having to really do a lot by yourself. Do you consider yourself a pretty hard worker out of just the scheduled practice time? Yes. Even like in weight room and conditioning stuff, is that something that you kind of not focus on, but you consider yourself a hard worker off the field as well? I try to be. I mean, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but yeah. <laughs> I try. Okay. And you know, we've all had those tough days, exhausting practices, workouts. Um, what motivates you to keep going? My teammates, really, because you don't want to let each other down. And honestly, this game is so pressurous, you know. If you see someone down, you're automatically think, well, dang, if they're not going to work, then I'm not going to work. So you got to stay up for everybody. Speaking about your teammates, if I asked them to describe you, what do you think they would say? Oh, man, a goofball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what qualities do you think make a good teammate? Leadership. I 
mean, everybody can be a leader, but um, to have that one specific quality, yeah, gets you going. And in what ways, you know, not just being a senior, being a pitcher, but in what ways are you really a leader for this team this year? The fact that I don't allow us to get down. I don't, I don't like it. And honestly, what makes it awesome is the fight that we have. We, you know, we may lose, um, but we don't give it to them. We don't hand it. Over the years, you've probably had some really great moments. Is there one game that really stands out as your favorite? Every Brian High game. Because, you know, we're rivals, but we're also friends, yeah, yeah. so there's a lot of trash talk, yeah. and um, <laughs> but also friendly at the yeah, same time. Yeah, so. absolutely. I want to talk about your coaches here at Rudder. Um, why do you like Coach Byrne and the rest of this coaching staff? She is the coolest coach I've ever had, and um, she's the most helpful I've ever had. Um, and it's just fun because I've been playing with her for about three years okay. now. And, you know, you get that connection, and she's always there for you in and out of practice and on the field. I want to talk a little bit about school because you are a student athlete. Um, what's your favorite subject to study? Well, right now, pharmacy. I'm in my pharmacy tech class to become a pharmacy tech. Okay. And what's been one of your favorite classes to take in high school? You know, you're a senior, so you've taken a lot. Looking back, what's one of your favorites? Hmm. Definitely not science. <laughs> Not science, but you're going into pharmacy. Okay. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, history, definitely. Okay. okay, definitely. And which one of your teachers has inspired you the most? My pre-cal teacher, Miss Harris. Okay. okay. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Ranger Pride. And you already touched upon it with, like, the rivalry with Brian High. With four area high schools, all in the same district, why do you love going to Rudder? I love going to Rudder because we're family here. And... Even though we struggle sport-wise, we don't give up on each other, and our school spirit is still there. Even at Pepper Alley, it's insane, and um, the support is wild. Yeah, yeah. Do you think doing well in school and making good grades translates to the field? Oh, definitely. It's just like being, you know, a student athlete. You have to, you know, you're going to be gone, you're away, you have to take your homework on the bus. This is the high school student athlete profile. Thanks to Kelly Burt Dozer. We're visiting with Carly Holacamp from the Rudder High softball team. Carly, talking about balancing, how do you balance school, sports, just being a teenager? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> it's hard. It's it not hard. easy. Yeah, yeah. But um, you only have so much time to do it, so you make the best of it. Do you want to play softball in college? I do, I do, but um, you know, I'm still working at it. Okay, okay, so still maybe talking to some schools, keeping some in consideration? Yes, ma'am. All right, and you already mentioned you're going, you want to go to school as a pharmacy tech, so that's obviously something that you're probably looking for in an educational part, too. Yes, ma'am. And I guess, let's say softball doesn't work out, where do you think you'd like to go to college, if you could just pick? Uh, UMHB. Okay, okay, very cool. I want to talk about some fun stuff now. When you aren't in school and you're not at practice, what do you like to do for fun? I love to, well, I like to go bowl. Okay, so you're a bowler. <laughs> yeah, Very I cool. like to go bowl. That's awesome. That's awesome. What about movies? What kind of movies do you like to watch? Anything in particular? I'm not a romantic movie watcher, okay. but definitely action and comedy. Okay, cool. Um, what do you have one? A guilty pleasure TV or Netflix show that you just really like to binge on? Mm, the Office. Okay. The Office okay. is hilarious. Okay. Um, what's your favorite color? Purple. Purple. <laughs> Who is your favorite celebrity if you could meet anyone famous? Probably Ryan Gosling. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> if you could trade lives with somebody for 24 hours, they don't have to be famous. It could be anyone. And you could switch just for the day. Who would you like to switch with? Oh, man. That's a good like, question. These are, these are hard just because they're, like, <laughs> super random. Um, any kid. Really? Just a kid? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> in, a, in a candy store or something. There you go. <laughs> Now, if you could go to dinner with anyone dead or alive, so think from the past, anybody in your life, it doesn't matter. Who would you like to go to dinner with? Probably Michael Jackson. I'm a big fan of him. Okay. I What's really your am. favorite MJ song? <sighs> so many There's ones. so many. I don't have one. Okay. Okay. That's all right. They're hard to pick from. Okay. Food, one of my favorite subjects. What is your favorite restaurant in town to go out to eat to? Oh, man. Probably Wingstop. 
Oh, Wingstop. Wingstop. I get wings and more all the time, but not a lot of Wingstop. Wingstop, definitely. Okay. okay. Now, what about at home? What's one of your favorite home cooked meals? My mom makes a mean quinoa. Quinoa, okay. Yeah. Very cool. And what about dessert? Do you have a sweet tooth? Oh, yes. Uh, cheesecake. Oh. Any type of cheesecake is, type. is the go to. Carly, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? What would you like to be able to do? Invisible. Invisible? Why is that? Just because no one would know I was there. <laughs> I'd know everything. Carly, do you have any other talents besides just softball, singing, dancing, anything that you do? Well, I am a pretty good dancer. Are you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but would your teammates agree? Uh, definitely not, but I'd like to show them that okay. I okay. can't dance. <laughs> what talent show would you love to be on if you were good at singing or dancing or anything like that? Oh, The Voice. Yeah. But, you know, that's for singing. Yeah. But uh, that's okay. <laughs> okay. You talked about cheering already, so I'm going to call you out now. What is your favorite softball cheer that you guys do here at Rudder? I can go-tos? I can never say it right, but it's, you know, it's like start us off, off with a hit, and that's all I know. Okay. And then I'm like just clapping with it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let everybody else do it. <laughs> all right. Would you rather have a walk-off home run or the game-saving strikeout? Oh, game-saving strikeout for sure. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> All right, wrapping up here, you know, you talked a little bit about it, but what makes Rudder softball so special? What really sets you guys apart? I guess the way we play together. I mean, we may struggle sometimes, but at the end, we all love each other, and we work so hard. We really do. And, you know, someone's got to win. And um, the fact that we never get down on each other, we may point fingers at some points, but we let it go, and we work as a team at the end. And Carly, when you're done here after this season and people kind of look back on your time as a Rudder Ranger, what do you hope they say? She was a hard worker. Yeah. That, yeah. That's all I want to be known as. Well, Carly, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and best of luck with the rest of your season. Thank you.